All right, let's start off some new tumblers. We're gonna go ahead and get these prepped for design. I always keep my lid in that little bubble wrap so I can package it up later. The bottom of these tipsy magnolias are removable. Just take a flat screwdriver, thunk it a few times, that bottom will pop right off. You don't have to sand that bottom inside part, it's good enough just the way it is. I do like to take an electric sander and I go around all of my edges and around the tumbler. This was 220 grit sandpaper, but it's worn down quite a bit, so it's not quite as rough. It is still okay if you use fresh sandpaper on this. What we're doing here is we're just roughing up this whole tumbler. That way, when we wash it, all the spray paint will really have something really nice to adhere to. Once that's completely sanded, I take it over to my kitchen sink with some Dawn dish soap, and I clean it really, really well. I also make sure that the inside piece that we removed is also clean really good. That way, any debris from manufacturing isn't in there. Dry it all real good. Make sure you get your towel and wedge it inside that bottom piece and clean it all off. Make sure it's dry. On my turner arm, I like to put these honeycomb inserts. I got some from Dino's and I also found some on Amazon at some point. I go ahead and give this a light spray paint on the bottom to make sure that white will be ready for design and then a really light coat of spray paint all the way around it. I don't want this runny or drippy, but I do want solid coverage, so it normally gets about two coats. We're gonna let this sit in the sunlight and dry and then come back for part two.